Um, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to make um, some soup. Right. Um, lentil soup. So, uh, this is a very amateurish performance. If you want to follow it, it's up to you. But let's start and go on with the job. We're going to use a pressure cooker. Now, this isn't a brand new one, but the brand new is made of some better control. If I show it to you, of course, on right this side, you have the seal, right? It seals it down quite comfortably. Now, the controls here one, two, three. With one, after a certain pressure has built up inside the pressure cooker, steam will start to come out. But if you want to build up a heavier pressure, you got one before steam starts to coming out. Again, you got another one, a heavier pressure before the steam will start coming out. But we're going to go for a middle of, middle of the road. You also have a small button here. When you when I put a lid on and the pressure is built up to suit this, this little button will come up. If you can see it, letting you know it's now sealed. But before you do that, you click into it with such to lock it in. But first of all, now let's take a look at the pressure cooker, which most of you ladies probably watching this know all about, which I really don't know much about. That's maybe what we would say, ladies and gentlemen, whoo, let's not, you know, impose an empty copyright. Pressure cooker, quite a heavy thing a pressure cooker. Um, inside it, you have a dish. Right? Now when you set it in, you've got these uh, bubbles in the base. So when you set it in, it just doesn't actually sit on the bottom because there will be water in that area. Okay? And if you want to lift it in or lift it out, you use this tool. Okay? So I'm going to put it in. There's no water in it at all at the moment, right? And I'll put those down as we do that. So that's it back in there. And I keep this tool out, right? Don't use that tool. Now for this lentil soup, I'm going to use two and a bit litres of water, right? So we'll measure it with this milk jug, which I believe is one litre. Oh no, this is two litre. Ah, two litre milk. Um, so let us uh, fill this first of all and put water in. I'm going to have to turn my back on you, but I'll try not to. So I'm going to put this in the sink and fill it up. But I'll be clever and I'll take the pot over beside me. Right? I'll start filling this up. That's two litre. Now you best check whether people that use this yourself and use it properly, but anyway, so that's, uh, that's two litres, so let's put two litres into the pot, two litres of water, I'll put that in first, hope you can see that okay. But I actually want to add another half a litre at least, so we'll measure it like this, okay, there you are, half a litre, eh? Oh, these TV cooks have been running this. But, uh, that's half a litre, two and a half. Yeah, sorry, the half of this is one litre, yes. yes. Thank you very much, if you keep me correct. Um, we don't want to put in the half of that. Now that's precision measurement, okay? Let's say that I don't need any more. Now what I'm going to add, if you can see from there, but I'll come in a bit, come back again. Remember this is heavy, you know, but it's quite cool at the moment. And this is going to get quite hot. You know? I'm now going to put in 
a full bag of lentils, split lentils. Red is split. Well, no, I don't want to advertise, do I? Right, I'm putting this stuff in. I'm just going to be precise and put it all in. Right? Now, I'm advised that, you know, don't take my word for it. I'm led to believe that if I give this some lentils just some time to swell a bit, take some uh, so that's our lentils in right so while the lentils are absorbing what they can for the moment in the cold water I'll put that back over there and because I have to keep so now I'm going to chop up the carrots, in this case quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, let's pour them in. Seven. Now, I'll put the slid in the road as well. Now, here again, you have to be careful, I'm not stupid, cutting these up. And I'll try this just so you can see what I'm doing. Now, as I say, I'm no expert, I suppose watching are probably better than me. My goodness, they're big, eh? Now you could uh, skin them, clean them, but there's nobody watching. And the temperature they're going into, oh, kill off any bacteria. So here we go, so here we go. We'll take the ends off first, right? We don't want them. I don't know why, but we don't want them. Remember, watch your fingers now. They're the same colour as the carrots, so you be careful when you chop them off. Okay, now let's chop up the carrots. And be careful with the fingers. Well, that's that might be boring, so. When I'm chopping carrots, blah, 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 and finish off. Nice. So let's do them aside for a moment. Next. Another one. Now as I said, because I'm no expert at this, I'm going to have to be super careful. Rather than risk cutting down and down, I just throw that one away. I'm not going to be silly and risk anything. Risk damage. Just move them over a bit. Are we on camera okay? Yes. How's husband's work's never done? Never stops. Again, I'm not going to be clever and cut down the show. No, I'm going to put it the road. Don't want to mess about with it. Not a carry here, what if there's too much? If you've any comments, maybe just keep them to yourself, okay? No, no, if there's any, please, please lay on, lay on. What I do enjoy is the use of the pressure cooker. For some reason it seems to hold in all the flavour of the, the food. The big experts comment when I'm going wrong here, but you know, this is for those of us who are not experts. We're not TV chefs. You probably gather I'm not a TV cook or chef, eh? No. Don't want to be show sure off, I'm going to throw it aside. It's a pity but yeah. You know I'm going to go for six carrots to this two and a half litres. What do you think? There's a lot of moisture in the carrots too, of course, you know. Now, I'm not going to change it, just so I say. Oh, let's throw them all in. I don't know if it's lentil soup or carrot soup. It's meant to be lentil soup. Well, it is lentil soup. A 
again, I'm not going to try and show off. I'm going to throw that aside. Okay. I think what I will do, because uh, times now, so just cut them up a bit more, shall I? If nobody objects. Now this is going to be a boring bit, you might just talk amongst yourselves for a minute or two. Well that's half of them chopped again, so I think that'll do for the moment. Right. But what I want to do next really is put the, I think you call it ham, ham stock or something. It makes, well, I like, I like it, it's nice when it's done. The preparation obviously takes longer than cooking. There folks, there we are. So, I'm now going to put, well because I can manage them, that into the pot. We'll bring this heavy pot over, two handles. I'll do it here so you can see what's going on. Right, so first of all, let's put this in here. Um, I want to put half of these in at the minute. Right. Well, I'll pick up that one at Fairness Loan and put in. Or would empty tell? Nobody will tell, okay. Doing okay. Right. Oh, sorry, remember handles in the way. Safety, safety first. Now, what I want to do is, I want to put the meat in there between the carrots, right? See when this is cooked, it's really nice. Um, ham, rib, some or other, right? And the green grocer's given me a nice piece. So in we go. Now then, on top of that, if you're concerned with uh, the hygiene of hands in there, if you sterilise your fingers first before you handle them, just stick it in boiled water. Or no complaints, okay. Now on top of that I'm going to pile in the other ones, not fully cut. Look, I think that's enough carrots in eh? That'll do. Now, I should cut carrots in, then uh, um, bone, then more carrots. Now, next, I'm using a leek, but that's actually rather a lot of leek because it will, the leek gives a nice wee uh, taste to it. You put too much in, it gives a nice wee nip to it. I like it actually, it's a wee over the top. You've seen I've done this before, twice I think. So we're just going to take this lot off. And 
Um, what I'll do, I'll slice it down a bit. We want to, oh, oh that's beautiful, eh? But we're only going to put half in because it is rather purple. Now, that'll probably not satisfy everybody. I've cut it that way too. The end off. Huh? There's, there's dirty bit at the end. Well, here. Off. Yes. The cameraman sticking their nose in. No, not the problem. Not a good idea. So, let's put it all in. That doesn't matter. We'll get a chair with them. So that's our. Well, I'm going to cut the skin off a bit. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people explaining their bits of went wrong and if we do want that, we do want those comments Right? I can assure you the end of this day, this soup tastes nice Nice one And just to hit it on the head Let's add This is ham cubes. We we'll just, I was just putting on it. Crush it up in one ham cube. One ham cube, I think, should be sufficient. If anybody else thinks otherwise, you know, speak up, right? Uh, yeah, what I'll do. And again. What I want to do is just give all of these stuff round about. Right. Now that covers everything I reckon. Now as I said, it's the use of the pressure cooker. I hope it's of interest to you as well. So where do we put the lid? Here we are. The lid goes on. If you can see, I'll turn it right so you can see it side on. Fit the lid on. Right, it's nice and tight. We're going to pick the middle bit that I showed you for the pressure, low pressure, high pressure middle. Then the button to lock on. This smaller button you see here, I showed you, so don't see you weren't watching. Right, and now let's just start the ball rolling, but keep the handle out of the road. Switch on. I'm assuming everybody knows how to switch a cooker up. Well, I don't know. Right. And what this guy. And I'm going to take this to seven. Well, I've taken it to eight. So, that's us, that's us doing business now. We're on our way. The pressure will start to build up in the pressure cooker, obviously. And it cooks because of this pressure. And believe you me, it does get hot. Now I've got it set here, so you say to yourself, well, when do we know to switch it off or take it off or do this or do that or do the next thing? Well, you just watch what's going on. It says, cook of the year. And the steam will slowly start to come out of here. And when it does, you hold the steam level low by adjusting the cooker temperature up and down so you don't have steam pouring out you just want the steam trickling out because all the steam may come out means you're losing water but that doesn't matter so much in here at the moment so if I've explained, explained myself we have it in the middle uh, it's going about its business it's set to 8 we don't want to hurry it and when it starts steaming we control the steam coming out by adjusting the heat Okay, just to, just to heat, which we do here actually, this one. Um, now, 
At this stage, I think we'll just have to sit and tell each other stories, right? Or I'll start to take. He's want a tune of ukulele with him here. Excuse me a second.